hello and welcome again to my channel. This video is going to be about how my doctors failed me. I was, of course, going to the OBGYN for a very long time, and I started to have painful sex and spotting. And I talked to three different OBGYNs, and of course this was three different ones over a span of quite a while, and they all just said it was it's just normal. Some people are just like that. Your pap smears are normal. It's just you. And I kept on saying, but it doesn't seem right. But they just said, shrugged the shoulders and just said it was me. And it wasn't just me. I think there's been some problems with the abnormal cells going on in my body for quite a long time. And even though I kept on asking year after year and bringing it up, they refused to do anything. They failed me in the fact that maybe they should have had a little bit of a, well, maybe we should look into this a little bit more. I wish that they had, because maybe we could have spotted it earlier and it would have been easier to treat. And so it wouldn't have become cervical cancer, but they didn't do anything. The reason why my cancer was easy to miss is because I had adenocarcinoma. And adenocarcinoma isn't on the bottom of your cervix, it's higher up. So when you have a pap smear, it's checking the bottom layer, your squamous cells. So the pap smear is looking for squamous abnormalities. And of course mine, that's not where it was, so my squamous cells were normal. About 80% of cervical cancers are squamous in nature. So the pap smears are going to kick those up and they're going to test them and they're going to say, yes, something's going on. 20% of cancers are adenocarcinoma, like I said, start higher up in the cervix. And the pap smears aren't going to catch those. And that's what I had. And even though I had two of the four classic signs of cervical cancer, they just let it slide because my pap smears were normal. About 20 years ago, adenocarcinoma was only seen in about 5% of cervical cancers. So the pap smears would catch 95% of all cervical cancers. But for some reason, scientists aren't sure why, that's gone from 5% to 20%. So there's still 20% that's not gonna be caught until it's a little bit later. Adenocarcinoma, for this reason, is usually found at a later stage. So I would recommend that if you have anything like pain during sex or just spotting in general in between, anything that's abnormal, anything that the doctor says is fine about, I would suggest maybe asking your doctor for an ECC. And what that is, is they're going into the cervix and testing above to see if anything's going on up there. I really think that if I knew then what I know now, I probably would have pushed my doctor to have that. Another thing I would have pushed my doctor to do is test me for HPV. Since my pap smear was normal, they never tested me. Why would they? Nothing was going on. If I had known, and if my doctor had known that I had HPV, then maybe they would have been monitoring me a little bit more closely. If you have something that you're concerned about, talk to your doctor. If they sort of you off a little bit, then maybe find another doctor. One that will listen to you, one that will take your worries and your fears seriously, and one that might be willing to do additional tests to make you feel better and hopefully make them feel better too, especially if you have signs that are pointing towards something's going on. And I hope you don't have to go through what I went through. Thank you for joining me. Have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.